Kaylin Bassetsny. He is from Country Bakery here in Hallettsville, Texas. And um, this is my first time in Hallettsville. I'm really excited because it's so cute. And um, Kaylin's here to tell us about this family-owned bakery. So thanks for having us here today, Kaylin. Thanks for coming. <laughs> um, so, you know, we walked in. I haven't eaten this morning. I'm super hungry. <laughs> so I made sure I had my coffee, so I'm good. But I made sure that I came hungry because I walked in and you can see everything in the cases and it looks right. so delicious. So I just want to know, first of all, we were kind of chatting a little bit before we started recording about uh, your bakery and how it got started. But I kind of want to know, like, where, uh, what were you doing before you started, you know, doing this family venture? Right. And um, how did things get started? Like, what's okay. the backstory? My grandmother started in 79 in Schulenburg, just 20 miles up the road. Uh, that was the original location. Uh, and then they, in 85, started the Hallettsville location. But I was born in 83, so I was in it all my life. Yeah. You know, I grew up in it. So, it, you know, it just, I went to college for different things, but then I came back and helped my father grow after my father took over this location and then help him grow this location. Yeah, so what did you go to college for? I went for biomedical equipment technician, okay. but I decided to do this. Yeah, so, yeah. So you're no definitely problem. not uh, using that college That's education right, right yeah. now, but, and, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. it seems like this is a pretty successful business. Um, right. We are in a small town, and as I was walking in, I was noticing like people are actually like saying hello to each other by their right. names. Yes. We're from Houston. Mm -hmm. You don't you see don't that do very that. often. Yeah. <laughs> no. I mean. Although we do get travelers, you know, on the highway, but uh, the small town, you know, it we're, we do a lot of wholesale here also. So, uh, you know, it's it's been here since '85, so it's been around. Yeah, uh, yeah. And you know, everybody knows everybody, especially in this small town. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's and so you said that your grandmother got this started. Mm -hmm. Um, was your grandmother like a baker? Like she loved to bake. Like oh, how yes. did she learn yeah, to bake? And are there her recipes here too? Right. Yes. Uh, so she started at her home, and then when she got more demand, well, they decided to buy a place in town uh, in Schoenberg, and it just started from there. Yeah. 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 So. And so, um, how many other family members are currently involved in the business? It would be my dad's sister. Uh, they have a bakery. She has the one, the original one in Schoenberg. Okay. Yeah. 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 And then we have in Eagle Lake one, and then in Weimar, and then a satellite store another in Victoria. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. Yes. Awesome. And so, um, let's talk a little bit about the different, like, let's explore your different, um, stuff that you have like Jenny and I walked mm -hmm. in and we saw this like huge piece of bread right. that has like poppy seed and maybe yeah. like cream cheese on top or something yeah. but like what is your most popular item that you have here? I would say the clotches or the sausage rolls also which we call pig in the blankets I know in Houston they're confused they call clotches <laughs> pig in the blankets we call them pig in the blankets yeah with the sausage uh, yeah. or clotches which are the fruit uh, fruit filled items uh, that's her biggest seller. Okay. Those items. Yeah, and like, um, so the fruit flavored ones, which one's like the favorite fruit that you have? Uh, cream cheese, poppy seed, uh, maybe like cherry or strawberry. Okay. Yep. And then y'all also have other things like um, breakfast tacos, right. uh, pancake yeah, make, uh, sandwiches. Yes, yeah, we make tacos and everything, donuts, you know. Yeah. We have a little bit of pretty much everything. Yeah. Uh, and is everything homemade here? Oh yes, pretty much everything. I mean, we make here. That's in yeah. the showcase. Yeah. yeah. And y'all get started really early. Like, oh, what's, yes. what time well, do y'all get here and start like making well, stuff? Well, like I said, we do wholesale, so this bakery is running 24 hours a day. Yeah. Uh, our our nighttime that start prepping and stuff, they get here like six o'clock in the evening. Oh wow. So because we get all of our wholesale route out first. Yeah. Uh, and then we start making for us. So yeah. 
Yeah. And so are y'all open like um, seven days a week? No, we're closed Sunday. Okay. So that's our only break is from is Sunday, Saturday night, Sunday. Yeah, yeah. And so you must be here like a lot then. Right. Like, how yep. many hours Very a day much. do you find yourself here well, in the bakery? You know, I may come in the morning time early and then leave and come back in the evening. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it could be 10 hours, 12 hours or so. Yeah. It just yeah. depends. So, and then how do you, you look like a pretty like um, in shape guy. Like how do you stay in shape when you <laughs> yeah, have all this great uh, food that's, here? That's genetics, I guess. <laughs> Run around all the time, don't have time to. Yeah, yeah you're burning those calories like but Not only that, if you're around it all the time, you don't you'd be surprised you don't eat it all the time. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Um, and then, what about um, like these wholesalers that mm -hmm. you have built these connections with? Like, how did you join forces with them, and um, how do you, you know, uh, build that business? Actually, most of them come to us and are wanting the product. That's mostly how that starts. Uh, I really never went out and pushed, pushed it, you know, or went to other people. Yeah. Uh, most time they come to us asking if they can buy and resell. So yeah. we are for our sausage rolls, USDA inspector. So we have an inspector here from Texas, uh, you know, uh, inspector every day for that meat product to sell it wholesale. Yeah, and then um, like Jenny and I on the way over here, we were talking about the importance of like um, word of mouth. Um, networking, you know, right. and I feel like in a small town that's mm -hmm. really important too. Oh yes, I mean, uh, that's pretty much how I got started, you know, before social media, you know, it was only word of mouth or people on the highway stopping in Schulenburg or here location, traveling back and forth to Houston, San Antonio, yeah. they would stop in, that's how it started. Yeah. And now it is, we do you know, we do social media advertising and stuff like that. We yeah. do have billboards, a couple. But, yeah. yeah. And y'all are on Instagram, too, because right. I tagged y'all earlier. Yes. So, yeah. yeah. And we're going to make sure that we drop all their information down below so that you know where to find them. Um, and so I'm kind of curious, you know, obviously in a small town, like, people know each other. Um, do you have your regulars that come oh, here? Oh, yes. Yeah. Right. I see a table, Definitely. like, in the front, and it's, like, a group of yeah, guys. Most of uh, the people in here right now are regulars. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 And so like by regular, is it like every day or is it like once a week? Pretty or much, kind of yeah, varies? it varies, yeah. 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 Some of them come every day, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. which is good. So do you have like a frequent buyer's card? Or we like... do a point system, oh, yeah. Cool. We have a point system. So you, yeah. You know, a certain amount, then you get points, something free, cert oh, certain nice. percentage off or something. Yeah. Nice. And um, what about like... You know, working with family can be kind of difficult mm -hmm. sometimes. Um, what about like keeping a good attitude? How do you do that? Um, yeah. Are there any obstacles that you face like working with your family or maybe um, just in the business in general? Right. And how have you overcome this? I don't think working with family is a problem. It's the other employees sometimes. <laughs> you know, uh, my father worked hard. My mom works hard she's at the Weimar location and also my father's uh, sister you know we we all get along really good I think yeah. the family part of it uh, the issue is the other employees not showing up to work we're always here when we're supposed to be we got to be here so yeah, yeah. yeah uh, it's, it's not you know that's I think that's pretty easy going working with family. Yeah. For us at least. Yeah, I did. I um, saw something recently about, you know, the importance of obviously, you know, as a family business, your business is important to you. Right. So you, it's hard to find employees that have right. that same feeling. Yes. Because it's not their business. Mm, right. Yeah. So, um, I do think that working with yeah. family could be a lot easier than working with like other yes. Yeah. individuals. Yeah. True. Um, so what about like the business during the pandemic? Like did that affect you and how did that affect you? It did, although we sell a lot of grab and go items. So our drive through was always open and actually we had this open except the dining room. So people still grabbed and go, you know. Yeah. 
that's one thing. I mean, it, it hurt us, you know, we definitely were slower, but it didn't set us back like some restaurants. Right, uh, yeah. yeah. So do all of your locations have the um, drive-thru? It does, yes, all of them. Yeah, I love that because I oh, hate yes. like getting out yeah, and yeah. having to go get my food. But like, I was telling um, somebody yesterday, I was like, I really want like a snack, but I don't want to like get out and get it. Right. Like, I want somebody to bring yeah. it to me. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't want oh, fast yeah. food either, so I yeah. think that's really cool that you can just like drive through. And are y'all open like all day long, or do y'all like close? We're a this location. Time? We're open from five to eight p.m. Oh, so wow. we do serve like a. A dinner special in the oh, evening. Okay. Uh, and so, yeah. what kind of dinners do y'all have? We have for lunch special. We have uh, different specials every day. Uh, anything from chicken fried steak, fried chicken, baked chicken. You know, we make all different things. Meatloaf, all different. Oh wow! Uh, and then we also really still good. have our burgers or sandwiches, stew, chili. Okay. Well, Jenny and I are gonna have to get lunch today, so there we might go. have to get something. So, like, what's your favorite thing that we should maybe get for lunch? Uh, I don't know. I guess it depends. We got chicken fried steak today on our lunch. Special, that sounds so. amazing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> and we're it's all hand battered and everything. So. Yeah. Are you a baker yourself? Or like, oh yeah. I mean, I oh yeah. I can. I can do it all if I had to. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I used to come at night time. You know, if we got new mixers or something, I'll show them how to mix or yeah. something like that. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. I like a guy who can cook, because I'm not <laughs> a good cook. So. <laughs> um, and then, what about like the secret to um, a good like baking um, item? Like how do you, obviously you have your family secret mm -hmm. recipes. I mean, maybe that's it. What is this? a secret family recipe that y'all might have that people want to know. Whole recipe. Yeah, yeah, no, you know I know. <laughs> like, no, it could be like the item. Uh, <laughs> um, I mean, if you want to give us the whole recipe. You no, know, <laughs> it's it just, uh, I mean, you know, it does take time when you're, uh, you know, prepping, especially like for clutches or that, you know, it takes time, everything got to rest. Uh, I think at home that's probably the biggest thing. People don't rest the dough enough or stuff like that. You know, yeah. it, it's all got to to be soft and yeah. you know. Uh, that makes that's sense. the biggest thing. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Other than that, you start off with a good recipe and it, it usually come out. Yeah. yeah. That I mean, that's really good advice, especially because um, in the society that we live in mm -hmm. today, we're not very patient. I know, and you, yeah, that's the biggest thing. I believe most people in, you know, the older generation used to make clutches at home and stuff. People don't have time for that anymore. No. <laughs> so, yeah. unless they're absolutely bored, you know, doing something. <laughs> yeah, but, I think during uh, the pandemic. But it's not a yeah, pandemic, yeah. yeah. But I mean, you know, it's just, uh, it takes a lot of time to rest the dough and knead it and do, you know, mix everything. Yeah. It takes time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I know obviously this is a family business. Uh, you've got a lot of great pastries out there. Yeah. How many of those out there do you think that are, that they are uh, family, like secret recipes? Okay, uh, I mean, I would say um, our sausage rolls and clutches, you know, they've been that same way since 79, pretty much. You know, it really hasn't changed a whole lot. Yeah. Uh, and you know, there there's quite a few items that we have, you know, that are that really has not changed. Yeah. Uh, from apple strudels, you know, things like that. Yeah. They've been the same. Yeah. Bread, uh, obviously. Yeah. yeah. So I know that a lot of places they have like their secret recipes, and you know they don't want that information to get out. Like your employees, do all of them know these recipes or only certain ones? Do they have to sign an NDA or anything? No, they don't sign anything. But <laughs> it pretty much only the people that work nighttime that are making the pastries, the mixers. I mean, they know the recipe. I don't know. I mean, I'm not that concerned at getting out. Yeah. I mean. I mean, if somebody wants to start their own business, more power to them. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's not easy. It's, exactly. it's very hard. Yeah. So, uh, uh, you know, that's, I mean, they could go find another recipe, probably just as good or find, figure it out themselves if they're that 
yeah. want it that bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's your favorite item? My favorite item? I would say the pig in the blanket, sausage rolls. I'll know. make sure that I get that. Yeah, so wait, so regular. just to make sure, are pigs, pigs in a blanket and uh, sausage rolls like yeah, the same? same thing. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay, yes. Okay, cool. So we I'll call them sure pig in the blankets. Yeah. And we have different ones with cheese, but I like the original one, the no cheese or anything. Okay. That's what originally we started with. You okay. know, it, there used to not be cheese in sausage rolls or pig in the blankets. Yeah. <laughs> that started later yeah you know, yeah but, i feel like we're constantly trying to elevate oh yeah things. and then now we have everything i mean you know we got the boudin rolls which we pretty much started here and then everybody else uh, caught on to it. yeah <laughs> caught on to that and i mean we get ham and cheese obviously and stuff yeah. like that yeah. yeah and so one last question when you have like a family event or something are there like a lot of baked goods there <laughs> And or you know we may have uh, usually my grandmother she makes cake or does something like that. Yeah. Uh, but no, we don't bring a lot of baked yeah. goods from here. Yeah. <laughs> None of like, our family like, wants to see it. We're yeah. baked out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> um, so we're gonna move on to the second part of our interview and. This is called the Texas Trio, and basically what you do is you just choose three horseshoes out of this hat, and then you answer the questions. Okay. A lot of them are Texas trivia, so I hope that you uh -oh. are pretty uh, uh, <laughs> Texas see. trivia savvy. Take three. Um, go are ahead and just take the okay. first one and read it out loud. Have you ever been to a Texas state park? Yes. Which ones? Uh, or which one's your favorite? Or do you remember? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Is Big Ben Texas State or that's yeah. national? I guess yeah. it is. Yeah, I've been to Big Ben. I like Big Ben. Yeah. Yeah. And now that you said, is it national? Now I'm like. I'm, no, I, I think it's. It probably is a Texas. I don't know. I don't know. But now <laughs> I'm gonna have to go look it up. And yeah. I've been to a lot of different. We're gonna parts. let y'all know, guys. <laughs> okay. And your next one. Where does the Where does the name Texas come from? Do you know? Uh. Shoot, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll yeah. just like give you a little background. Um, Tejas actually mm -hmm. means friend in the Cato oh, okay. Native American language, and so that's where Texas oh, okay. comes from. Okay. Yeah. So, so now you know for when you go on Jeopardy. It was Jeopardy. Tejas first. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> have you been to any rodeo? Yes, definitely. Which rodeos <laughs> have you been to? Well, the first rodeos were right here in Hallettsville. They used to do the high school rodeos, you know, yeah. uh, years ago. But then, you know, Houston, San Antonio. Yeah. I've been to all of them. Yeah. 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 What's your, like, favorite part of the rodeo? Or, like, rodeo and fair? Well, like, it's Oh, yeah. I, definitely the rodeo part. Yeah. I like the actual, you know. Yeah, like watching. Like, roping or, yeah. 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 Ride, yeah. bull riding stuff. Yeah. My favorite part is the food, but. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And the concerts, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, that is the end of our okay. Texas trivia, and I just wanted to let everybody know, like, we are going to make sure that we drop the information for the Country Bakery down below, so that you're able to find them the next time that you're near one of them, because there's several locations. So there's really not an excuse for people to come right. and visit you. Yes. Um, and then also, I just wanted to thank you so much for you know taking the time to interview with us, mm -hmm. and um, we're excited to go and try some of your food. So now I know kind of an idea, and we have a little break. So maybe after this, I'll have breakfast, and then we'll have lunch. Have lunch. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks, okay. Kaylin, thank and um, bye. bye. Baja place because it's National Shapewear Month or day. Sorry, day. I'm trying to like look for something for my figure. Anyway, let's go look at them. There's all sorts of them, so. And there's even shapewear for men. What? I didn't find my shapewear today because I'm looking for a specific thing. But I want to know what's your favorite brand of shapewear. Maybe it's Spanx. Maybe it's from a small boutique like this one. So let us know in the comments. Bye.
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, that's all y'all.